Konnichiwa! What's up everyone? I'm Drew Binsky and in this video I'm going to show you what $10 or 1500 yen can get you in Okinawa, Japan. Don't go anywhere. Good? Oh jeez. I've never had Japanese kimchi until now. This is so good. Mm. And I'm gonna... Alright, this is the one we're getting. <laughs> it's strong. Wow. Famous taco rice of Okinawa. Mm. God, I love it here. Okinawa is a chain of islands about two hours south of Tokyo by plane. And let's just say it's a totally different Japan that you've heard of. There are no skyscrapers or neon signs or busy streets. Pretty much everything is laid back, like island time. Also, the climate is warm and tropical with white sanded beaches and crystal clear ocean water that rivals nearby Philippines. Truth be told that Okinawa is a fascinating place with a wild culture, but it's also known as the healthiest place in the world with an average life expectancy of 97 years old. We are about to discover why this is the case and lots more as I take you around the capital city of Naha in this $10 episode. Let's get into it. I'm on my way right now to the main market of Naha, which is the biggest market in all of Okinawa. It's gonna be pretty cool. I love markets, love checking them out and getting a good feel for the life on the street. So we're just a few minutes away, let's go. You know, walking around these streets, I still feel like Bill Murray in Lost in Translation. That feeling of being lost is so incredible. Yummy. Mm. What? Good? Oji. Good, Oji? There's a cute old lady behind me sitting behind a huge assortment of food. I don't know what any of the food is, but I'm gonna buy some from her and try some of the interesting culinary items here in Okinawa. Where is Iwa? Where is Oh, you speak English? Yeah. I'm from America. USA, America. Uh, USA. Yeah. Where are you from? Okinawa. How old are you? Oh, too old. 80? Yeah. Oh, 80. 90? 81. 80, uh, 83. 83. Yeah. Wow. Can I try some of this? Yeah. Thank you. Mmm. Oshi. Yeah. Whoa. It tastes like Korean kimchi, but with long cabbage. What else can I try over here? Thank you. Ah, fishy. Not my favorite. Okay, I take kimchi. Oh, sabisu. It's okay. You have change? Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. It's incredible to see these ladies, like 90 years old, just working behind the food stalls. I mean, look at her go. Like, I'm trying to imagine my grandma just working at a food market. And my grandma's not even as old as her. And this kimchi is super interesting, the, the texture of it. Mm. Never had Japanese kimchi until now. This is so good. Mm. God, I love it here. I'm in my happy zone. I found the wet market section, which means live seafood. Look at the tentacles are sticking out of the freaking thing. Lobster. This is shrimp? Wow, that's huge. It's the biggest shrimp I've ever seen in my life. Wait. Oh my god. It's like twice as big as my hand, the shrimp. I can't come here and not sample the local booze, just like everywhere else in the world. So I'm basically just gonna close my eyes and pick one. Pick one of these small bottles here. All right, here we go. Eyes closed, and I'm gonna just point to a random one. Let's go on this side, right here. This bottle. All right, this is the one we're getting. Found a lovely spot to try my awamudi, right in front of the big ass American flag, which I'm gonna talk about the reason why it's there in a second. But first, let me try this. <laughs> it's strong. Somewhat like sake. A little bit more of a punch though. Definitely a good purchase, super, super cheap, just a couple bucks. All right, now to the US flag. So there is a crazy history of Okinawa, of this island. And it's one that should not be overlooked. Okinawa was the key to the invasion of Japan. We were ready to turn the key. Intense enemy fire causes heavy casualties. Most of the 90,000 Japs killed on this island, they must be blasted out one by one. Heavy enemies are on fire. For suicide. I 
As you guys know, World War II was brutally fought between many countries, but primarily the United States and Japan. But the Battle of Okinawa was one of the biggest, what has led to the, the final stages of the war, which was the bomb of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. It's crazy to walk around and see this, but uh, people are nice towards Americans. There's no hostility, everyone's interested in America, it seems like, and it's kind of cool to be walking around these streets and talk to the people about it. I just saw something really interesting out of the corner of my eye. This guy is chopping what looks like bricks. Hello. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Is this uh, brown uh, sugar? Brown sugar. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it literally blocks a brown sugar. It comes in a brick form and he just chops it with a knife. Oh, I'll try. Thank you. Okay. Let me try a piece right now. Wow. Mm. Oh my god. Really, really sweet. Konnichiwa. <laughs> I'm just wandering around, but I'm pretty sure that I have found the main drag here in town. This street with all the signs. I have found the taco rice. Okinawa soul food. Do you have uh, taco rice? Taco rice. You have? One. Two Ichi go. taco rice. Two go. Uh, here. For here. It is time to try the famous taco rice of Okinawa. This is a fusion dish. We have just a bed of rice, we have taco ingredients on top without the taco shells. We got some salsa right here, so we're gonna mix it on. Fantastic. It's like Mexican-Japanese mix. Mmm. Oh my god. It's basically like a taco, but substituting the shell with rice. So it has become an Asian dish. I never heard about this before I came here. This is delish. God, I love this place. Amazing. That's it? It's small. Pretty incredible that even such a small place like Okinawa has a super futuristic metro. It's so quiet in here, nobody talks to each other. But it's super nice and modern, like you would expect in Japan. This district is called Sakemachi. I've been told to come here, it's a nightlife district. Look in front of me, all these old men just hanging out, drinking. It is... Do you want beer? Yeah. Beer. Yeah. I buy it for you. <laughs> That's two beers? You got the Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. What's your name? Drew. Hey? Drew. You. You? Yo, yo. My, my name is Hiroshi. 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 Yeah. Hiroshi. What's your name? Asaya. Asaya. This is absolutely fantastic, and this is the reason why I travel. I'm all by myself. I got no friends here. Well, these are my new friends. He's just pounding sake over here. In total, I got a bag of kimchi, a small bottle of liquor, free brown sugar, a plate of taco rice, a metro ride, and two beers for just over $10. All right, truth be told, I went over the $10 budget because these beers were more than I thought, and I ended up buying two. One for that guy. But this is an epic, epic ending to a really fun video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Look at this moment. I'm all by myself right now, chilling with these old dudes at this bar. Gotta love life. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Come by. I'm Drubinsky, and thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe down there if you want to see more inspiring people stories and check out my main channel below where I bring you on the most epic adventures from every country. Also, I'm giving away for free all of my best travel tips and secrets for finding cheap flights on that middle link. Until next time, stay safe, be spontaneous, and just go.